Hi YouTube, it is Sunday, May 10th, 2015, Mother's Day, and I just wanted to let you see my pawpaws. It is early spring, and these pawpaws, as you can see, have leafed out. And what I really want to talk to you today about is, um, I think it's kind of amazing that I can already see bud differentiation. What I mean by that is I can already tell which trees are starting to make flower buds for next year and which trees um, are just making vegetative buds that are going to spring out leaves. Um, let me let you see these. This tree right here was gotten from Hertz. It's Hertz slash Hartman. Um, I think I ordered it from Hertz, but I think the actual tree shipped from Hartman's Nursery. And this tree, I've labeled them was planted October 2012. And when I say planted, I don't mean that's when the seed germinated. I mean that's when I stuck it in the ground because it was a seedling when I got it. I don't know how old the seedling was. Probably about a year old. Um, this is my second tree. This tree flowered this year, but unfortunately had um, some pollen problems, mainly being that the pollen that I have is from trees they're all clones so I did try to pollinate but um, the fruit did not set most of the fruit have, has already fallen off again this one was transplanted on April the 12th 2012 when I transplanted this tree this tree was already every bit of I'd say three feet tall now it's about I don't know nine feet tall moving on Here's the next tree. This tree flowered also and profusely for whatever reason. Um, it's so small, it's only about, I don't know, five feet six maybe. And I don't even know that it is that tall. Um, it's not five six, it's more like five feet. And this tree was transplanted in April of 2012. I do have one set of fruit that's trying to set. It's this one right here. I don't know if it will. This tree is pretty small. But um, I know that's hard to see. But this tree, I did get that cross pollinated because I did have one tree that produced flowers that was, I know, is a different variety but it only produced like three flowers and unfortunately it seemed like every day that it was raining that's when it was shedding pollen so it was hard to harvest the pollen this tree here is about nine feet tall as well this one flowered profusely still has some flowers on there um the flowering season is about done though to be honest and this one had a lot of fruit clusters on it, and most of those fruit clusters were pollinated really with pollen from this tree cause, because this tree is the tree that had the most flowers. So anyway, self-pollinated fruit didn't fit. I do have one cluster that's trying to hang on, and it is right here. And this cluster was cross-pollinated with what little pollen I got from those three little flowers off the other tree. And by the way, this tree was transplanted in 2012, and it was about three feet tall when I transplanted it. Moving on. This tree right here. This tree tried to flower, but it didn't do very well. It only had like two or three flowers on there, and they really didn't amount to much of anything. So maybe it's just too young or not strong enough yet. This tree also was transplanted in 2012. This tree is every bit of, I'd say, seven feet tall. This tree right here was a seedling that I got from Hertz slash Hartman and um, again it was tiny this is the one the trees that I can start to see veg not vegetative but um, 
floral buds okay and I know you can't see you can't see them but they're ovoid right now so hopefully this tree will have a few flowers Again, this one was transplanted June 2012. Something about flowers, though, um, just because you have floral buds does not mean that they will turn it into flowers. And just because you have flowers definitely does not mean that you will get fruit. I have another little pawpaw that I got from Edible Landscaping. This one I just planted about a month ago and she's trying to leaf out she is a seedling I would think that she is only a year old if that again got that from edible landscaping this tree right here I got from the Broad River and um, she was really small last year but she's absolutely beautiful. Look at her blowing in the breeze. Saying hello to all of you on YouTube. Again. Broad River. I either transplanted it in May or June, I think. This papa here, I is a transplant. Um, it did not flower this year, although it did make flower buds. Flower buds are still on there. It was transplanted in June of 2012. Again, it did have flower buds, but none of them actually flowered. There is, you cannot see it well, but there's a flower bud right above my fingernail, and it just didn't. It didn't flower out. That's okay. This papa right here was gotten from Garney's. This is the one that did flower, and it had a few flowers, but like I said, it kept raining when it was shedding pollen, so that kind of hampered my efforts to harvest pollen. And also, um, bugs were eating the blooms. So hopefully next year um, it'll give me more blooms so that even if the buds are eaten by bugs there'll be some left for me to cross pollinate with and I can see already that it's got buds that are going to turn into flowers if they make it and I'll have to put a picture of that in there for you it's got a tag somewhere Okay, this one was gotten from Garney's too, and it has not flowered yet. I haven't checked to see if it might be forming flower buds. I can check here in just a second. This tree is a transplant. It did flower. Um, it had a few flowers, maybe like six to ten but unfortunately over here on this side of my yard where it's more shaded um, something's eating the flowers and a lot of the flowers just poof disappeared they were here one day came back the next day they were gone searched on the ground they weren't on the ground either So there you have it. That is my, those are my pawpaws.